Queen Q Club on your TV screens with your girl White here, Bridget M Zulu. Do not forget that we have our Facebook page, which is Q Club Zambia. And as you can see, I have this beautiful human being here. She won't be talking. <laughs> be no, I will. I will. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> Hi. How are Hi. you? I'm fine. Ah, but guys, abulak <laughs> salon we mundo. So ngawa inda salon zuma kamba maningi. You only talk when it's hurting. So she will close her it's mouth. It's hurting. Nah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even started. Ah, exaja mama. <laughs> exaja. So you guys who are watching us for the very first time, well, Q Club is all about the best, entertaining, motivating, educating, and a whole lot of fun and discovering a lot of things. Growing each and every single day is something that we always advise you guys is that growth never ends and learning never ends. Learn and learn and learn and learn. I can't wait to see what you do. Ah, 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 Named Africa and I'm from a country called Zambia. Oh my god. But anyway, I'm going to do something to Rhoda's hair. As you can see, her hair is so dry, guys. But we won't put anything because she said, ah, with me, it's hot and I don't want anything in my hair. I just want it dry like that. But it's okay. Yes. She feels the itchy herself. So she's going to be itching and with a dry skin, the dead cells. We always talk about growth here there are cells that come out see mamba and my cells yeah mafa yeah ja being a what you remember it's not mamba mamba and ja biology so guys in case you have to know that that is a dead skin that dries up and dies if your hair is very very dry and it's not oily so what you do is just ordinate your hair moisturize it make sure it's so moist otherwise these Roots will die off, your edges won't be there, and like mine because yeah. my edges are slowly disappearing. Exactly, so that's what I'm to to talking about. But we have a solution, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do have. Make sure you moisturize your hair and make sure your, your skin, your scalp, rather, is always, always, always moisturized and oilinated. Mm -hmm. So, Rhoda, are you ready? Yes, I are can't you ready? Wait. I'm a ready girl. Welcome to Bridget's Saloon. First customer to attend to. Hi, madam, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. So what do you want I me to do to I came with my own comb, by Wow. She's, my brush. She's, she's organized. Mm -hmm. Can I have a look? Well, it's a very nice brush. So what do you want me to do to your hair? Anything mm -hmm. that can cover up my my edges. Because wow. they look like they've been eaten up. Oh my God. So we're just going to massage your scalp a bit to make you relax. Oh, it's really gonna place to sleep from this is my saloon and I own it. Thank you. So you massage your hair like for five minutes. Yeah, Peter, five minutes, okay. We're done. We're just going to brush a hair behind. She said anything that can cover up Musirani or put you up. Make sure you do it. It's so much fun because the hair is a lot and I'm having a lot of fun right now. Woo! <laughs> and she's not having any fun. Actually, <laughs> coffee. So if you're a girl and those that are going back into school on Monday, some open, some are not yet open. You can copy some styles as I am doing to Rhoda. At anything that can cover up. This girl has beautiful hair. She needs to be on a cover magazine. Don't you guys think so? What are you waiting for, madam? Soon. Anyway, it's soon. Her soon never comes. It's fine. Are you going to manage to put all that hair mm. in the I think your madam, hands are a little bit small. I am an expert to these things. I've been doing saloons. I've opened over five saloons. So if you ask me that question, I think he, I don't have an answer. So if you just help me with keeping quiet, you can't come to a saloon and ask them, are you going to manage? Guys, who does that? No. 
you let them do anything, they'll manage. See? And she said I won't manage. Do this. And keep the other side. Yeah, okay. So we're going to tie this beautiful hair. She's African, actually. She's Zambian. A foreign. A foreign. No, no, no. I'm no. from Dola. Oh my god, she was that being foreign. Oh, Jesus. This is a lot of hair. So, what's the best way to take care of hair? Do you treat it or do you just blow it? I think blowing it is the best, best, best way you can keep your hair. If you treat your hair, mm, I don't think it's safe. Mm. Because. You relax your hair and a lot of things happen to your hair. Your edges, your ends, they'll split, they'll do this. Not because if you keep it natural, they won't split. There's a point where you have to take good care of your hair mm -hmm. so that they don't sp and the edges don't split. And hair is growing every day. It's supposed okay. to be growing. So you have to keep it very safe. Not too much heat. Okay. So for people that don't want to put implants in their hair, what do they do to the edges if they're not perfect? Mm, you can buy some gel. There's what they call... What gel do you use? Mm. Oh my god, I need to get... I'll use something for her after. I like my hair natural like this. Okay. I plait a lot, so that explains it anyway. So she said w she wants to cover up this part because... Mm, okay, this is dangerous. Look! Is very dangerous. So we tie up an onion puff like this one. Oh, it's called an onion puff. Mm -hmm. okay. Or a Kardashian. Okay. For what's trendy, Kardashian. So we're going to get our chitenge material. Excuse me, it's pretty. Well, I'm giving it a present. Thank you. That's what you get when you come to my salon. Okay. Please. It's like you're going to a dentist and they give you a lollipop to calm you down. <laughs> Have you ever visited a dentist? Yes. Mm. <coughs> yes, you. Because I had a toothache. Wow. How was it? Too? Was it pain? It was hurting. It was ah. aching. It was aching. What did you do? Were you eating a lot of sweets? I think so. Madam, I have to go to Eh, I have to go to my I have to go to Oh, Monday, my go go. So, guys, there's a debate. I want to ask this pretty human being here a question. If you're in school, eh, and they say, "Vaja ma go go," they want to zone. Want to have no zee. Why, guys? Go on, ma go go school. Well, it's not necessary, but those people are nerds. You know, sometimes they're just shy. Mm -hmm. So it's just eye problems. Nothing else. <laughs> It's just eye problems. Mm -hmm. What of uh, in that school room? You said those people are nerds. Yeah. No. So me, I can be a nerd if I start putting on the face. Hey. I say mm. those I people are wearing glasses because they have eye problems. Okay. So why does this thing have to be so long? Is there a particular reason? Yes, because you have to tie a bow, and a, for a bow to come out very perfectly, you need it to be very, very long. So you need it. You need to tie it like this. Hey, human being here. You can move your head like this. Is it hurting? No. No. I have, I have beautiful hands, me. Next time you visit my saloon, eh? Yes. So if you're at home and you're bored. Your cousin just visited you, your niece, and she's just I'm a child. She just loves playing with your hair like I do love playing with Rhoda's hair because her hair is very nice. <laughs> you can play the child and she can play the adult. So is it okay to use any other material apart from the material? Mm -hmm, it is okay. You can use a plain one. Yes, thank you Rhoda for reminding me. I need to orient these people on what to use. You can use a plain black material, white. Pink, you don't like blue. bright colors. You don't like bright colors. Uh, if you don't, mm -hmm. if you don't like bright, bright colors. colors, you can use black. Because 
black it can work perfectly if your favorite color is black you can use black if it's blue it's fine you can use blue now the challenging part comes in how you decorate your door oh my goodness okay No, thank you. That's the mafun ko fish you are. Okay. We're almost done. I guess you're going to be with your friends. Oh, you just want to hang out with your girls. Oh, it's a birthday. It's your friend's birthday. You can just simply have this pattern passed out together and just look at this. They're twins of you. Okay. Oh, okay, she looks pretty cute. Ready, you look nice. Smart to the camera, smart to our friends. Oh, doesn't she look pretty? So, so we're going to do something else as well, the last one. So we've shown you two. If you want to see more, you can visit our Facebook page, which is Cute Club Zambia, and be able to get more patterns that you can do to your hair. Like Rhoda's hair is so nice. Are you colored? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I just kind of, yeah, it's your boot back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pose. Okay, thank you. So, we're going to do something really quick for our hair. We're going to let it loose. Sometimes it's very important to just let your hair breathe. You know, you just need to just let it loose. So, we're going to let it loose and still use this material on our hair as a stuff. Do I have to take off my glasses again? Mm, yes. Because we want your beautiful eyes to show. We can hardly see them through these glasses. Please visit the what? The dentist. The optician. The optician. The dentist. Yeah. Oh, don't confuse children with big words. No, the optician is actually for the eyes. Uh -huh. So, my documents and I'm doing a main. So, for the teeth. You visit the dentist. dentist. Don't eat too much sweets. Too much things with sugar. The sugar levels will be high. So if this style that we made is for an outing occasion, then the next one is for just a, um just an alone time, wanna be free occasion. Just one of those occasions you wanna take yourself out. Mm -hmm. Just wanna be with yourself. Maybe study in your room a little bit. And take a selfie after studying. You can do the stuff that I'm going to do to her. Yeah? Okay. See, she said she had a comb and I can't see her comb. I'm going to use my hand. It's actually down there. It's down. So can we pick it, guys? Yes, we can. Okay. There we go. It was in our magic box. You can't see our magic box. In this ma Oh, your material. Put it around like this. So she's complaining as she's late. So we're going to do it very fast. As she goes out of here and enjoy her moment with her hair. Hi. Okay, you can see her face, right? You can still see her face. You can still see her face. She looks pretty, ne? You look pretty. We're done doing Rhoda's hair. She's done with her saloon. Thank you so much for visiting my saloon. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And she's gonna leave us now for us to continue with our show because oh, we're done doing her hair and beautifying her. Remember, go on a Facebook page and you'll be able to find all these amazing, beautiful styles that I did to Rhoda. And you can be able to do it to your young sister if you have a young sister like me. Because I'm Rhoda's young sister and she does this to me. So it was revenge time. But anyway, if you're planning to be a style guru, you can learn from us. Because Q Club always provides you with 
all the best and no trouble if you want to be a style guru always remember never giving up even though you fall you feel remember how many times i kept on doing a hair and trying things out because her hair is just too nice for me to just put in things right but remember keep on trying and trying and trying thank you rhoda thank you bye So the day we in class <laughs> my friend was being this to me <laughs> Then my teacher asked Na vikari ku lili sana hivyo but ni sasa ni sasa kwa vonishi tako so I'm a bad man as guys I'm a sick man I'm calling it big stop it's not fun But anyway guys hope you had something at the end of the day hope you had fun with our saloon as we were decorating your this hair beautifying her and just making her look more beautiful because she is beautiful but making her look more beautiful and representable as she goes out there to the world her should be very 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 nice mm-hmm. but let me not talk too much because i did talk too much with Rhoda and I'm so 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 tired let me rest as i put something for you guys on your tv screens to follow let's look at our animal facts for today in the The Asian giant hornet is the largest species of hornet in the world with some queens reaching more than 5 cm in length. They are found throughout Eastern Asia, particularly in Japan where they are commonly known as the giant sparrow bee. It is not to be confused with the more placid Asian hornet which arrived in France in 2005 and although similar in appearance the Asian hornet is thought to be more dangerous than the European hornet the Asian giant hornet was first classified in 1852 by a British entomologist called Frederick Smith who worked in the zoology department of the British Museum. He later became the president of the Entomological Association of London from 1862 to 1863. He later became the president of the Entomological Society of London from 1862 to 1863. This wasp species is larger than any other with average asian giant hornets growing to between 2.7 cm and 4.5 cm in length with a wingspan of around 7 cm the queens can grow up to 5.5 cm but are similar in appearance to the worker hornets with an orange head black handibores and a black and golden body the asian giant hornet has two sets of eyes one compound and one ocelli both of which are brown in color along with their legs unlike other species of wasp and indeed bees the stinger of the asian giant hornet is not barbed and therefore remains attached to its body once used this means that asian giant hornets are able to sting their victims repeatedly injecting a complex venom that is known to contain eight different chemicals they are found to be inhabiting higher altitude forests in both temperate and tropical areas where there is plenty of food and suitable places to build a nest the nest is founded by a fertilized female known as the queen who selects a suitably sheltered site such as the hollow trunk of a tree where she begins to build herself a nest out of chewed up bark wasp nests contain a series of single cells which together create the well known honeycomb effect Asian giant hornets are known for their fearless and extremely aggressive attitudes and they seem to favor one animal in particular 
the honeybee. Asian giant hornets like to feed the honeybee lover to their own young and are known to completely destroy whole beehives in the process. Rather than using their stinger, Asian giant hornets kill the guarding bees using their strong mandibles with extreme force and agility. One hornet is said to be able to tear up 40 honeybees in half every minute just to get at what it wants. Asian giant hornets are sociable insects working together within the colony to forage for food. Growing the size of the nest and caring for the young. They are known as workers but they do not reproduce as that is the job of the queen. The Asian giant hornet is a dominant predator within its environment, mainly hunting other insects, particularly bees. Asian giant hornets are also commonly known to kill larger insects such as praying mantis and even other wasps and hornets. Adult Asian giant hornets are unable to digest solid proteins and instead only eat the fluids from their victims. They are also known to feed their catch to their lover, particularly the honeybee lover, in the form of regurgitated pest. The lava then secrete a clear liquid which the adults consume and it is thought to give them a bit of an energy boost. Asian giant hornets predominantly use their mandibles rather than their powerful stingers in order to secure their prey. Due to the fact that the Asian giant hornet is an apex predator within its environment. It has no real natural predators within its native habitats. Humans pose the biggest threat to the world's largest wasp, mainly as they are consumed as parts of normal diets in the areas where they are found. This is particularly common in the mountains of Japan where the Asian giant hornet populations are in the highest abundance. Despite its size and bad temper, numbers of the Asian giant hornet are declining in certain areas. This is mainly due to habitat loss in the form of deforestation. Honeybees in Eastern Asia are also starting to develop their own defense against the hornets trapping them in their nest until it becomes too hot for this giant wasp and it dies. The Asian giant hornet is today listed as a species that is threatened from extinction in the near future. Should the circumstances surrounding its survival not change despite their dominance in the natural environments, the Asian giant hornet populations are being severely affected by habitat loss in certain areas, predominantly in form of deforestation. I hope you enjoyed our animal facts for today. Bye bye! Of course, yes, each and every single day on Q Club, we look at our animal facts and our science facts. Well, something that we had for you on our animal facts for today. Hope you keep on learning every day. Remember, learning is always going on and on. There's no way I know in your 40 years. There's something that somebody will come and tell you. That's learning. Learning does not mean you going on Google, having a lot of bulky books and just studying and studying and studying. No, something new. That somebody comes to you and tells you and you have an idea and knowledge on it is learning. Even me just coming to tell you, do you know that when I ask you Uribuanji Niribuino? That's learning if you didn't know. So Uribuanji Niribuino. Muribuanji Tiribuino. 
simple just like that it's learning so do not think as if learning is limited learning is never limited even the small small things that you see is learning kanyerere ni kanyere inzi ni mosquito ni mosquito gal ni gal mbuzi ni mbuzi they are all animals insects <laughs> some are parasites what are some are amphibians what else mm, yeah animals basically let me just say they are animals but anyway let's look into our i don't really know what i can call it but it's called the did you know did you know that the world is filled up with people yes i did but did you know that bridget is a girl yes i did and did you know that bridget's name is spelled as b-r-i-d-g-e-t-t-e no you did not <laughs> you should learn what your name means and what does it represent and also if you are named after somebody ask your mom because me i asked my mom i was named after my mom's late sister she was a bridget as well she's beautiful nice very quiet as i am i'm a very quiet person guys i don't talk too much i'm so quiet but that precise the point <laughs> let's go into our dj you know for today and let's help you learn Hello guys, you are still on Q Club. My name is Ajen Simpande. As you can see in the studio, I'm not alone. I'm joined by my co-host who introduced himself. Hi. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Lax and Kelvin Terry. Legendary icon. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How have you been? Ah, so so. Dear sir, good to you. Yeah, so like it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guys, icon. I love the combination of colors. Colors there is yellow, blue, red, black. Oh my gosh, I look nice, right? Mm. Oh, I'm humbled. Guys, without wasting time, welcome to our Did You Know segment. In case you're tuning for the first time, Did You Know segment is here to help you know more of the things that you don't know. Oh my gosh. The things that you don't know and you'll be able to know. Things you had no idea about. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Kelvin? I'm pretty much. So we can start? Okay. Sure. okay. Our first Did You Know fact. Did you know the longest press name in the world has 25 letters wrong? You know what? Ooh. In the back, at the back of my mind I'm like what word is that really? And how do you pronounce it? <sighs> I guess it's you, you can even fail like to pronounce it. In Shita, 85 letters. No 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 no. Is it a name of a country it's, of some sort? Yes, or? I think it's a name of a country. Yes. Mm, not a country, but uh, some village, some village. <laughs> I think so. Know, yes, yes, some yes. Something like that. Mm -hmm, who knows? Yeah. Okay. Did Did you know the extreme ironing is an actual sport? Yes, I know. Wow. Kuchisa, the sport. What sport? <laughs> ah, it's a sport because you're exercising your hands. No, you like know. every sport, uh, mm -hmm. there's an aspect of competition. So you compete with who? And no, I'm not talking about competition here. It's did you know the extreme iron is an actual sport? Like, what's the benefits really? <sighs> I guess that so what your car ko that wish that shine. Oh, I, I get it, I get you it. See? No, no, ah, no. I know, I know, I know. So you guys, as I say it again, this segment is here to help you know more of the exactly, things that you don't exactly. know. Kelvin Swans was you about you, right? <laughs> I mean okay. we only say I don't do that and <laughs> 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 of course, I know oh, people. <laughs> like, did, I ah, Kevin. I always know. Come on, give us. Huh, okay. Did you know Toporino is the name for Mickey Mouse Eatery? Toporino. Have you ever heard about that? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Back where I'm from, it, it, it's uh, it's white. Right. Manya manya. Ah. So, like we you know. You yeah, know? it's not like um, chopo chopo so You see? So thing. you never knew but now you've known, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. sure. Guys, are you ready? Of course we are. I'm, I'm enjoying this, I must say. And you know what? So we can continue? We can continue. Okay. Did you know Han is the only natural food which never spoils? Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> Serious, what she see like he see my wallet with all the but have you ever seen um to take care away from that right? mm -hmm. the bottle of um, the lord is an expiry date there. Yes, there's an expiry date, but when it comes to a mm, <laughs> no, like uh, also with the something you're talking about there's an expiry date like I, I would have shown you just that I uh, ah. like the one Guys, I don't, we don't know got you an don't, just accept date. you don't know Kelvin. No, hmm. no, no, we'll try and find out after the show. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not so certain, but I've seen one with an expiring date. Should I continue? Continue. Okay. Did you know elephants sleep between four to five hours in 24 period? Like who does that? I mean, people making the money. The elephant. Wait, the wait, wait, elephant. Wait, 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 wait. Four to five hours. People making money. You don't have to sleep like that. No. Lions but are busy. But it's normal. It's normal. Like, like you know, it's normal. Four. Four. Like ah. a normal person. <laughs> like wait, you have to wake people now. Making what's money the out difference? Out. What's the difference? Four to five hours. You said four to five. I said four to oh. five hours in twenty-four <laughs> period. <laughs> but still, like the lion never sleeps. Kelvin, you don't know, nah, just they're accept. They're busy, you know, trying to food, find, finding what to eat. And yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why it's, uh, this animal is so weird. I don't like it. I never ah. like it. <laughs> no, I love animals, especially the elephants. Because one, it can't jump. It can? It can't. But what? It's the only animal that can't jump, actually. Oh, what it's another fact, so? guys. I guess I, the elephant to... can't jump. Yeah, we need to learn a lot. Should I continue? Continue, okay. go. Did you know it's possible to lead a cow upstairs but not down? Yes! You don't know? Guys, like my upstairs, yeah, Jaka. Like, let's get in the Kunyumba Kwa to grab upstairs. But I'm getting one baby, but I'm one baby. Then I'm pushing in the end. Maybe like he was using Saka whip, Queen Mia Zain. But when Pans on the station, Panty to kill you. The what? Your son. My son. It's in Pandy. From Southern. I know one. Ah! Look at this one no. now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just waiting here. No, 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 no. People do not attack me. Kelvin, what's your son name? P. My son name is Kelvin. Kelvin, yeah, Laxon, yeah. P. Works no, no, better, no, no, no. right? Laxon, Kelvin. Mm, okay. Legendary icon, if you like. Ah, young artist, I know. Did you know on your birthday you share it with 9 million others? Hmm, That's yes. Fake. Yes. Because, uh, okay, let's just say, like, today it's your birthday. So, come and yako wake How do you know? The statistics, how do you know? Like, on Facebook, who's the person can be like, on no, Facebook, let me, yes. let me put you in sport. Like, um, February sometimes ends uh, with 28. So, it's your birthday is on the 29th. Mm -hmm. You don't get to celebrate your birthday in that particular. Who said so? From 28th, you guys, then, okay, okay, let's go just straight if to today. It's 28th February, yeah, which tomorrow. means it's your birthday, and maybe like next year it will be 29th. Yeah. You can still celebrate your birthday, no, like it's on the 29th, that's your birthday, still. And the next year, there's no 29th. <laughs> Those people were born like in 28th, 29th, but they are, but this they, they just have to celebrate it. Everything is weird because I wonder, we have 24, we have four weeks in a month. Mm -hmm. And like every week has seven days. Yeah. So if you count that, that's like four times seven, which gives us 28. So where does the 29, 30 come from? When is your birthday first? <laughs> On the second of something, something. Second what? <laughs> November. Now you know. Okay. They know. Guys, did you know a duck can't walk without bobbing its head? Yes. You don't know? It can boy in the one. Hey, <laughs> you don't know. But I'm sure now you have known, right? I have known. Okay, yeah. Thanks. We have not come to the last facts. Too bad. Yeah. Like, I was enjoying this. No. Oh, I know. We're still That's coming back next week. Really? Yeah. High five. Ah. <laughs> Look at this one, it's great. <laughs> Guys, did you know hummingbirds are the only bird that can fly backwards? Have you ever heard about the hummingbirds? So Have you? The, the yes, there are those humming humming beads which like they use their wings like backwards. Oh, it's weird, right? You don't want to see those animals. Too. I, I don't want to see those beds. Oh, ah, me, I'm wishing, me, I'm wishing. <laughs> Look at this one. They might Guys. scare me to death. So, but before we say we close our segment, like, can you maybe like uh, let's sing a car short song? Uh, artist boo, come you know. on. Like, yeah, I think. Kids, mm, my kids. Yes, it does. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very formal person. You know? mm. So, you don't have any song? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, but, on, like, you know, I, I don't on. even trust myself with that. Like, okay, do you know that song? Like, yes, it's very awesome, but... <laughs> That's 
now. I'm trying. I'm, I'm not good I'm in singing, guys. I'm not it. good. I'm only good in talking, Go back, talking, back, talking. Back, 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 back. Okay, guys, we have now come to our end of our segment, which is Did too You Know bad, Facts? Too bad. Guys, remember to like our Facebook page, which is Q Club Zambia. Like, yeah. follow, and share. Until next time, I've been your presenter, Simpandejen, here with me, my best friend. Ciao, relax. Legendary Bye. Bye. God bless. And continue. Oh my God, I learned something on the Did You Know? And I'm so excited that I know something. Did you know that I'm me? Did you know that you're you? And did you know that you're watching Q Club? Eh? Hey, did you know that we live in Zambia? Eh? Hey, did you know that we're black people? Eh? Hey, that we're black people? Eh? Hey, hey, that we're black people? <laughs> so much fun that we are learning every single thing right here on Q Club, and we are accommodate everybody. You don't care if your race is white, you're black, you're, you're light. Ya Shani, ya Mulunda, ya Zulu, ya Ngoni, ya Bemba. We are all black people. So different colors, black people. United we stand, divided we fall. We should learn to stand by our friends and support them each and every single day because who knows? Never know if it's your neighbor, your best friend, your what, but be careful at the end of the day. Choose your own decisions. The key to challenges and the key to always knowing your decisions in life, it's you the driver, not the car. If you want to choose to be another person and a bad person, you can. But at the end of the day, let's look at into something that I have for you. It's a special present. We're going to be calling this as a special dance. So you guys will be sending in videos on Q Club as a special dance that you have for us. And we have a video that somebody sent in already. Wow. I am so, so excited. Look at this girl, Feva Mwenya. She's dancing with a special dance that she has sent for us to enjoy on the show, knowing that she loves Ski Club and she just want to show people that she can dance and want to show people that she can help us and laugh. We can laugh with her dance. Sometimes it's not really what she's dancing. Sometimes it's like, are people that bad when it comes to dancing and they go like, I can dance, I can do this. But anyway, let's look at our friend Feva as she gives us a funny dance. But I don't know if you find it funny or crazy. But at the end of the day, remember, go on our Facebook page. You can send your selfie. We have somebody who has sent in their selfie already. I'm telling you, this guy, this people, this is serious. It's not something that is just random. Well, Martha Nambela sent in her selfie saying, I love Kick Club. And well, I want my selfie to be on the TV screen, not Bridget's face. Because Bridget's face, we were tired of seeing her face on TV. We want somebody else. We want my face to show. Well, we've given her a chance. We want this girl to have a face on the show. And we want to show her that we love her. And we thank her so much for watching the show and following everything. Because one, when we had our Yogeta last year, remember? She sent in a selfie with her Yogeta and she did win. Not really she didn't win. We didn't follow to, to go give her the yogetas. The yogetas were here. I ate her yogetas. So I felt bad. She's been following the show and we wanted her to be the first person we put our, her selfie on the TV screen. Well, let's take a selfie break, people.
god thank you so much martha thank you very much thank you guys that you're watching the show each and every single day my name is bridget and you do and don't remember to forget don't forget to remember and don't remember to forget like our facebook page which is q club zambia and do not remember to forget that q club zambia is a facebook page that we have that we want you guys to so don't remember to like <laughs> and comment on it do not forget to like and comment on our facebook page which is kick club zambia which comes to the end of our show today we do not have story time because apparently somebody bridget somebody me <laughs> twisting up words in english is just so nice and it's so funny now you can play this game with your friend it's called the english twist English twist is when you put the other sentence that does not make sense on the other sentence. Like for example, Mary went to the ma- to the market and you remove the word let's see. Mary went to the market. Two. And it will become Mary went market. It is correct. Mary went market. Mary went to the market. See? It's all about the twisting up of the English. It's all about everything. Well, we've come to the end of our show. Peace, guys. Bye. Hope you liked our show and hope you enjoyed everything that we packed up for you guys. And so excited that we bring you all the best, all the best, and no trouble. Cause we all about the best, but the best, but the best, no trouble. We all about the best, but the best, no trouble. We all about the best, but the best, no trouble. Bye, guys. Enjoy the no. Trouble.